Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review the QQQs. I did do a video yesterday, last night after the close on the market, and said that this, is, you know, that yesterday's trading day was another fake out day in the market. Boy, was that just spot spot on. And the interesting thing is, we did have follow through Friday into Monday. We could have followed through again today because we were we were down at once this morning. We ended up opening neutral, but we were falling in the morning in the gap. We did not fall today, we rallied. I called the market long in the first five minutes of the day and the room took it, a bunch of people did. And I, you know, it, I didn't know it would go to the dream target, but that's exactly what it did. Huge rally in the market today. This solidifies the bullish move that's happening. Uh, last week, I, we were literally a dollar something away from brand new all-time highs and acute QQQs for the first time in 16 years. I said, we're gonna hit them, we're gonna get over them, we are going to do it. It could still happen this week. Today is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three more trading days, and the market looks amazing, looks great, can't even look any better if it tried. Again, people think the market is extended or not going higher, it absolutely is. I can't see how anyone could be sure of this market, and yet, there are people that are sure. Beautiful, strong power trend day today, had to go long when I called it in the first five minutes so you didn't make any money. This just rallied all day. Didn't really have any pullbacks, very unusual, very rare for the market to actually have a power trend day, but it did. It absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, did. So let's look at the first five minutes. I called this here. That was a nutty call. It was, it was right in here. And I said that for everyone to put the stop at 116, I said, first I said 116.90, and then I said pull it down just to be safe, around 116.75, 116.80. It didn't go anywhere near there. I said this is the low of the day in the market. This is why I screamed the morning in the room, and I called it long. It shot right up. Beautiful move as soon as I called it all the way up. Came in here, lollygagged around, just power trended. Best move is always in the morning in a gap. This was a gap down, neutral gap down this morning, and it held, and you could have bought it. And it's a great move. People say, well, this filled the gap, Melissa. No, it didn't. It rallied. It was going to rally anyways because the market's strong and it's not going anywhere lower. And the reason I know this is because I'm great at reading weakness. And when you learn how to read one direction extremely well, you can read the other one well. How do I do it in gaps? Because my gap rating system, I would have never shorted this market today. I wouldn't be short the gap market yesterday, the gap down here. I wouldn't have shorted this even despite the fact that it went red. Institutions and big power trending money is buying the market up. It's lifting it higher. If you don't believe me, look at today. Look at this day, look at this day, look at any of the days in here. Everything signifies it. This is so fakey fake though, tricky tricky, because of the drop down we had here, the quick reversal. Then we got down here, couldn't make it over the new high here, very close, couldn't do it. Gap down fell, fell through on Monday. And then today we did this and I predicted it would happen this week and it did it today. Now, can we get up over 120.50 this week? Maybe, I guess we'll have to see. But one thing I can tell you, for tomorrow in the QQQs, and the SPY. We will rally. We are higher. There's almost nothing that this market can't do tomorrow on Wednesday that will make the market go higher. We are higher. I don't know where we gap tomorrow. It doesn't matter. We could gap neutral. We're going to rally tomorrow. We could gap down. We'll rally tomorrow. We could gap up. We'll rally tomorrow. The, we, we could gap up a lot and rally tomorrow. A little, a lot. Neutral, down. This, if this, the market gaps on 50 points, I wouldn't go long it, but maybe you still could. I, I don't even know. I'm telling you. If the market is higher tomorrow, go long tomorrow. <laughs> the market is higher, okay? No matter what it does in the gap. That's the scoop. You will see follow through tomorrow in this rally today. And that is the stock swish prediction of the night. Have a great day, everyone. If you would like to learn how to read charts and institutional money, incorrectly, which is what I do very well, make the predictions that I do. This prediction I made last night, today, and then five minutes into the open, and it worked, and rallied like the dickens. If you want to learn how I do all these things that I do, which is make predictions and trade correctly for profitable moves in the right direction at amazing entries, like I call it in the market today, email me at melissa at stockswish.com for more information. Next gap class is October 8th and 9th, and I'm running an early bird special this week through Friday. Great special if you're interested. Email me at melissa at for more information. Have a great night, everyone.